Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your August 2022 reading. We're taking a look at your relationship and the en energy surrounding it for August 2022. Not all of these messages will resonate with you, Cancer, so take what does resonate and leave the rest for someone else. Messages of light and love come forward here for Cancer. Spirit, what do they need to know for their highest good and for the highest good of all? Big goals here, compromise. So these are recent past events. Let's see what else? This is the Twin Flame Oracle. Free will, choices, decisions. What else here, Spirit? We have loss. Loss of self and identity. So many of you going through a transformation that may not make sense now, but it will in your immediate future. Let's jump into the tarot. Also, guys, stick around to the end because we'll be pulling messages from your person here. From this Hidden Truth Oracle and the love messages. Let's see what the tarot has to say here. We have a three of cups, some kind of teamwork, possibly with friends, team members at work, maybe even as well. <coughs> Excuse me. We have the ace of cups. So a new love connection here or something you're very passionate about, a renewed energy putting toward in this Whatever this is, we will clarify. We have the Strength card in the immediate future, Leo energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the Chariot. Beautiful. This is your energy here, Cancer. Three of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Five of Swords. So this is really interesting because this is a love reading. However, it it's a relationship reading, and I feel like it has more to do with platonic connections. We have the emperor here. This is Aries energy. This is you um, being strategic over your work life. <laughs> this is big, big boss energy here. You may be managing a team of people or you may have an opportunity for that. Let's pull some additional clarity. So there, in your recent past here with this Three of Cups, something about friends, something about a group of people, could be family members, could be friends that you're with, compromising with them in some way. Tell me more about this Three of Cups. We have a Four of Swords, Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. Muse of Voices. Two more. We have a Queen of Swords and a Six of Wands. So could be connecting with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or it's this person who is a little bit of a hard to deal with person, okay? Could be feminine energy, somebody you work with, somebody you have to deal with. Um, could also be like an ex person, like an ex partner of yours that you now consider a friend of yours. Six of Wands. This person is stepping into their power towards you, and they've turned cold on you here in the recent past. Something between the two of you has um, created some kind of conflict. It could be between you and one other person, or multiple people here. Um, but you have some kind of dreams or goals that you have set for yourself and this person is making it difficult for you to move forward with those goals. Like for example, um, this could be like an ex partner of yours. You guys have to co-parent kids together possibly, or you have to still work together. You have a business together, something like that. Um, so if that's not your story, 
don't make it fit. Um, but this story could play out multiple different ways. There's just some kind of friend of yours that has been, has suddenly turned difficult for you to work with. And so you're learning how to talk to this person. You're learning how to compromise and help them understand your vision. Um, and you're learning how to be patient with them, with this temperance card. So there's big movement here in your life. There's, there's healing energy coming in because you are taking the steps to remain emotionally stable. Despite there being some possible friction between you and, and these people here. Why is this Ace of Cups here, Spirit? We have a Four of Wands. Wow. So, oh my gosh. This is a soulmate reunion coming in for you. Nine of Cups. Something you've wished for. We have the Devil card here. Capricorn Energy. This person could be a Capricorn that you're connecting with. You may have something about this person may be a little bit out of balance, <laughs> like too much partying, too much drinking, too much smoking. They are bound to some kind of addiction of some kind. You may be as well, Cancer. There's something about this relationship that is very passionate. You feel like this relationship is dangerous. That's so interesting, but yet you're so drawn to it. This may be a soulmate of yours here, Cancer. This free will card is here. So I wonder what this is all about. I think you're wondering whether or not you should pursue this person, whether you should chase them or whether you should pull your energy away from them. But you have a new opportunity coming in. I think that you're realizing you don't have to force anything. What's meant to be will happen for your highest good. And what you what's already kind of like faded for you. Why is the strength card here? Justice card. <clears throat> Some kind of karma playing out. Could be connecting with a Libra. We have a 10 of pentacles. Wow, lots of money here. Possible, possible loss of money for some of you. Um, but possible, like it's minimal if that's the case. Um, we have a queen, this queen of pentacles here. This could be this, so we have two different queens here that you're dealing with here, Cancer. Could be you as well. So put it, make it, you know, um, <laughs> flip-flop the energies and reverse them if needed. But somebody here is possibly trying, like for, this is very specific for someone. Um, this could be somebody in a court situation trying to get money in some way or restitution of some kind. Um, but this has been some kind of struggle that you've had to deal with. This could be some kind of legal, legal issue you're facing with this person, with this justice card being here. So what I have to say to you, Cancer, is like if, you've, if you're if you losing a large sum of money here or use, losing some uh, sum of money, just let it go because you're, you can manifest more. Um, knowing that this is letting go of an attachment to money will bring forward even more abundance going forward because it's about understanding that if somebody, you know, I think that you may be counting on some kind of money here to be there. Um, but right as that judgment comes through, and I don't know that this judgment will actually come through. This is a very specific story for someone here. Um, Somebody may even be just threatening legal action and you're like, have some kind of anxiety over it. You have a, like some kind of inheritance or a new business idea or some kind of money payout coming right at the same time that this judgment is happening. So that's really amazing to see here because not all is lost.
So I do feel like you've had your share of arguments with a couple of different people in August. There's been some up and down with these individuals. Um, and so you're learning to let go, trust that things are going to work out for the best. Somebody here wants to really argue with you. I think that you're in a peaceful place, even despite the way someone here is behaving. We have this nine of pentacles here. I just feel like these people are really trying to hold on to you, Cancer. They have some kind of negative attachment to you and some kind of codependent need for you in some way. Like this could be, you know, like I said, an ex-partner of yours that you have to still deal with. Um, this could also be like a sister or like another family member that you're having to deal with as well. Um, but you're really trying to control your emotions and control how some of these events play out. But I think that you're realizing you just have to kind of let it go, let go of what you can't control here. Um, <clears throat> knowing that, you know, if there is a sum of money that goes away, you can, it's going to manifest, you know, the more you can let go and be open to what's next, the more money is possible there. Like you can make more than that and then some on top of it. So let it go. Don't stress over it too much. It's just money. I, it can be easily reproduced. And I think that you know that as well. <laughs> Um, and don't let these people get you down. They're not worth getting stressed out over. I think that you do, Cancer. You have a really great way of controlling your emotions. Um, you know that these people are difficult to deal with and they're trying to get at you, but you have this ability to remain calm. It's like this emotional intelligence that you have that's really helped you <laughs> succeed and these are all just really tests that you're having to deal with anyway. These connections with these people, these are all just tests in life to see <laughs> if you can rise above it. And I think that's exactly what you're able to do here. I feel like you're learning how to negotiate with people, even in business and in friendships or, you know, relationships. It was my fault, but I blamed you. So I do feel like some of these people here that are giving you grief in your life, I think that they are realizing how unfair that they're being. I hid who I really am from you. I think someone here in your past here was wearing a mask when you guys were together. And now that you're on the other side of the relationship, you see them for who they truly are. I want you. This person is really afraid to will let you go as well. I think that, I just feel like if there's something here to do with alimony or divorce settlement money, um, could be that, you know, ch child support money, something like that could be happening in your life here. Uh, so it just feels like they they are losing control of you and they know they have to let go. It's like this attachment that these people have to you. Um, and you may have been a good re provider of financial resources to, to various people. Like, you know, especially if you're in business, you're able to generate money for the company really easily. You're a valued member of your business or you have this ability to make money as well. It was my fault that I blamed you. Yeah, I, th I just think that whoever these people are that you're dealing with, I think that they're, they have this attachment to you. Yeah, two of cups. This was a prior marriage situation that now that it's over between the two of you and they don't have the control that they used to, they start to freak out and you st you're starting to see a different side to this person than you've seen before which is quite interesting. Let's pull some love messages. It's quite interesting that, you know, you can really kind of get to know somebody pretty easily, you know, when you guys have a disagreement with each other. How does this person handle disagreement? You can kind of see somebody's true colors. 
or the fact that they've been wearing a mask for a very long time and now here here their ugly side shows up we have passion try something you've never done before i just think that your mind is like not really on this person release radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go I think that energetically, because you are pulling back from this person and like moving on with your life and some kind of paperwork, maybe settling out in the courts or some kind of final agreement that you guys had is, is being closed out or something's been paid off or um, because that's like this, it almost feels like this, this energetic of letting go. This is finally being released. Um, Maybe you're not talking to this person as much as you used to. Um, they feel you energetically moving on, especially if you're meeting somebody new. Uh, this new person coming into your life, this is like some kind of higher level soulmate that has been destined to be in your life. So energetically, these people feel you moving on away from them and they start to freak out, <laughs> okay? Last card out, different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. You're fully aware at this particular moment that you made the right decision to leave this person behind. They, they, um, you know, they were in your life for a time, but it's like you fully know that this is over. Interesting reading for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button if it resonated for you. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.